my new Sandy by Joanna. Reborn by Anastasia Gonzalo. Did a box opening for her last week. And I figure I'll change her. I keep thinking about it. I love the outfit, but I did want to share. I did want to look at her details and share her details. So we're up here in like my hodgepodge room. Took one, uh, one of the tiny pockets of unpackedness in my house. But uh, anyway, there's her box of stuff. Can't, I have to make some, some um, adjustments. That whole closet is doll stuff, so. Jack, you say hi. Um, so this room, look how pretty she is. Um, I've got my, it's a small room, my bookshelf, the babies and Veda. And I also, this is also my workout space. So this is, I got the tonal installed, um, amazing. And my scale is still out. Anyway, let's see about changing her. Oh gosh, I just noticed that plant is very dead. Okay. So she has, if you watched the box opening, you know that she has like a frame inside of her body. So she can't be, she can't sit. She's pretty well. I'm sorry. She's pretty well in a standing position, which is cool because that's how I display her. But that does mean for changing, we're gonna have to lay her flat. I mean, I would anyway, but. Anyway, um, I believe that her bunting is in here. So uh, maybe we'll just use that. I do have the baby nest, but again, it's in that closet. And I think I'm going to put one of the bunny outfits on her that came home. She came home with from her artist. So maybe. Because even to lift her head will just be weird. So let's see. That's not so bad. All right. I did name her, by the way. Um, oh gosh, I'm forgetting her middle name now. But her name is Mina. It's Mina Adeline. Or Adeline, um, but I, I pronounce it Adeline, A-D-E-L-I-N-E, -E. yeah. So, a name that I've loved since Bram Stoker's Dracula, which was my, like, serious romantic movie when I was younger. So, you know, the, the name Mina has been one of the options on my list for a long time. This doll, this girl is about, uh, she's a three to six month size. So while she's standing and like a toddler, sh her size is, you know. My niece did walk when she was this tall. She was about 18 months, but she was pretty small for her age. <laughs> so, oh no, not 18 months, I'm sorry. She was walking nine, she was walking, early so she was small and she was short for her age <clears throat> but anyhow this sculpt is not much different in size from amity who is also three to six month size but she will never stand she has a uh, three-quarter limbs all right we'll get her down and then she doesn't have a diaper on which is i'm not going to put one on her either Well, let's, we'll look at her legs first. Let's see if she will stand. 
So first of all, we'll look at the sculpt. She's got these nice chunker rolls in her thighs and her little chubby knees and some little chubbiness in her, even in her calves, shins. And, um, and, and then for the painting, you can see the veins. And the mottling and the you know the variations in skin tone really really beautiful Let's see if I can and the bottoms of her feet well, you know obviously we're in the shade the shadows on this side so you're not seeing that that great but really spectacular painting. Great detail. Very beautiful. And the reason I want to do it separately is I just, I don't know. Sometimes historically, look how cute she is. She's so cute. I don't know what I'm saying. Just ignore me. She's got the most beautiful blue eyes too. And this hair is just to die for. She's very fun to photograph. You know, like I have some photos on my Instagram of her outside standing on the path and stuff. It's just really cute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, that was a really cute happenstance for her hand to fall that way. She is just lovely. Wow. She is lovely. So you can see her face a bit more. There's a line. Definitely a better time of day for this than when I opened her, but even still, light goes in and out of the clouds. But you see those beautiful curls in her hair? And of course, the rooting is just perfect. All right, now we'll take a look at her arms. Same as the legs, but the details, the different blushing and veining and stuff. Like I said in the box opening, it's cool to have dolls from the same artist a couple years apart to kind of like see the evolution of their painting and the way their style changes and look at the nail beds on her. Nice. Really nice. All right. So there she is. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to like, you know, not show a cloth body doll, but anyway, I'm just trying to be mindful. We'll get her dressed. Which outfit? There was a bunny outfit that came with these really cute shoes. Yeah, this one. I think it's a bunny outfit. Let's see. Oh gosh, it's got this gorgeous hair bow. Okay, so she's got some tights and these shoes. It's not a bunny outfit. It's just a really pretty outfit. Can you see? No, you can't see what I'm setting out. And this is the hair bow. Headband and this jumper dress. Really pretty. It's gonna look great on her. All right, so we'll put this outfit in the box. She looks really cute with the pacifier and without the pacifier. Okay. Oh, her 
that the clothes smell really pretty. It must be Anastasia's perfume. But just kind of like this, just this hint of this beautiful scent always um, follows her dolls and the, the clothing especially. Maybe it's something that she spritzes, but I don't, I just always got the sense it's just her workshop or whatever. I'm trying to untie this tag because I didn't bring scissors with me. That did not help. Bear with me and just enjoy looking at her. I'm gonna try not to mess with iMovie today. I see what I'm doing wrong, I think. Maybe. I think I'm gonna just leave it for now. Okay, so all that for nothing, sorry. She's got the same, you know, like straight legs that, um, I don't know if you remember for a hot second, I had a 24 month size doll that I named Newt. And I can't remember the name of her sculpt. She is with um, my friend Laura now. Her name is Sadie. She's got the same straight legs and flat feet kind of thing going. there she has such personality like the the face like it's very sweet <laughs> but like there's stuff going on let's get the tights probably come back to a normal view now I just love her. I really do. And so she has moved around the house, right? Now she's sort of settled in the dining room. I found uh, an antique chair. They said it's a primitive antique chair, which usually, so it's likely sometime in the 1800s, but usually primitive can be anything from like the late 1700s to early 1800s, but I think um, the shop owner and I, he was not entirely sure when it was from. I think the tag may have been written by his parents who were no longer alive, but who used to run the shop, the antique shop. Uh, the tights, I forgot about the tights. So she's been standing next to that chair in my dining room and looking. She just looks really cool there. Amity is also in the dining room permanently. She sits on a little bench. And I had put a, a doll on layaway a while back. I had to do a layaway because everything that was going on, but she's just, um, really perfect. and. I mentioned I'm really changing my collecting habits, but she is like Amity's sister basically, and the two of them together are gonna sit on that bench perfectly, I think, I hope. Nina, 
probably not use her pacifier for a bit, so. <laughs> These are really cute. She, these will be good for standing. They're nice and flat. I think that's gonna make her um, even more stable. They're like a stiff bottom shoe. Okay, well we'll stand her up to get this head headband on her. Little dried flowers are flaking. I do sort of have to lean her sometimes to get her to stand too, just with the weight distribution. I'll have to play with how she works in these shoes. But there we go. You can't see her, but <laughs> goodness. Okay, let's see about this. It's already tied. I think I'm going to try and keep it that way. All right. <laughs> She's standing a little funky, but maybe we'll get one of her toys out that she had gotten. Let's see. Can do it one handed. I'm failing. I mean, I'm doing it, but you guys are having like a pretty shaky view here. It's all right. I feel it. Also difficult one-handed. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so there's Miss Mina. Glad we got a chance to come back over and share her with you. <laughs> We'll go ahead and get this posted. I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend though. And Jackie and I are sending out lots of love. Bye for now.